So hey, it's great to be back here at the crock pot. Well, you know, I'm still working on that dating thing, but I think I'm a little more focused. I'm gonna go for somebody a little more responsible, and I think I found my dream girl. Yeah, Goldie. She owns Lox Industries, otherwise known as Just Right Enterprises. You know, porridge, beds, chairs. You, you've seen the commercials, right, folks? Yeah. Great gal, you know, she's going through a rough time now. You've probably seen this in the papers, you know, she's involved with that big lawsuit with the, with the bears. They're claiming she stole their recipe for the porridge, as well as stole the ideas for the beds and chairs. <laughs> they claim it was breaking and entering. They said that they had just made some porridge and went out for a walk, waiting for it to cool down. And according to them, Goldilocks came along and you know, broke into the place and tested everything out and then stole their ideas. Can you believe this? Have you seen the pictures? She's cute as can be. I mean, how is this possible? I, you know, I, I think this is preposterous. How could a cute little girl like this pull something off like that? <laughs> but then again, maybe they got a point. You know, I mean, a store that just sells porridge, beds and chairs, I mean, that is kind of weird. <laughs> well, well, maybe, you know, I... You know, I've been wrong before, so maybe after we get the fingerprints, maybe this will be, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, even with all of that, still, she's, she's better than those other experiences. You know, the damsels in distress, and the dates, and then, you know, the occasional witch, and the sleeping princesses. And then there was the queen, you know, but she didn't mention drama queen. You know the one I'm talking about, the one with the mirror? You know, every ten minutes, mirror, mirror on the wall. Talk about insecure. <laughs> Wow, I kept telling her, you're beautiful. What are you doing? No, she had to run to the mirror. That was driving me wacky. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the incessant questions like, oh, does this crown make my head look big? Or, or does this gown make me look fat? I couldn't stand it. <laughs> and the final straw was when I walked into the kitchen one day, she's putting poison in an apple. And I said to myself, hey, Bucky, it's time to get out of here. <laughs> This has gone on long enough. So I'm asking you, what would you do? Possible criminal record or definite poison apple? Which would you choose? <laughs> or maybe, you know, I say to myself, Bucky, maybe you should just, you know, put it all to an end and just start dating women who are already locked up. Let me see. Where did I put that Rapunzel's number? <laughs> Well, folks, just thanks for putting up with my silliness, and uh, have a good night. <laughs>